Let's review the first assignment by going over the requirements and then working through an example. The focus for this assignment is to develop a project for K-12 learners which introduces students to the process of inquiry-based learning using primary sources while preparing students to be knowledge constructors and creative communicators, two of the seven ISTE standards for students. I am going to organize you in teams and ask you to develop an inquiry-based learning project for K-12 students. The project will include a lesson plan and a presentation using multimedia creation software. This assignment will serve to demonstrate your own competency with establishing inquiry-based learning environments and use of multimedia creation software while seeking creativity and collaboration. Your teams will be required to present an inquiry that you choose from the Library of Congress coupled with a multimedia creation software tool that your team has also chosen. You will use the multimedia software that you've selected to present both the lesson you developed and an overview of the multimedia software that you chose to use for the assignment. The software chosen should be used in both your lesson plan and in your presentation to the class. Please note, your team is not required to create a product that you've designed for the students. You only need to produce the lesson plan and the presentation of the plan and the software used. Presentations will be limited to no more than 30 minutes for each team. For this assignment, I've created an example of how one might approach the task. Please note, what I'm about to show you as an example is not meant to be duplicated. Please don't feel you need to take the same approach to the assignment, use the same content, the same presentation techniques, or even the same multimedia software. I am showing you an example as just one way this assignment can be approached and successfully completed. I would, in fact, be most delighted if all the teams took different approaches to the assignments so we can see all different methods, lesson plans, topic areas, and multimedia software. As you approach this assignment, I'd suggest you consider your strengths, skills, and aspirations you considered when we started the course and determine what strengths you'd like to use along with what skills you'd like to further develop. Use this assignment and the technology choices to strengthen your skill set. I began this task by selecting a topic area. The first thing that came to mind was U.S. history. I was curious to learn what students would think and feel when looking at U.S. images from a time period over 100 years ago. The Library of Congress has a plethora of images to work with. Another part of the assignment included working with primary sources, so using images from the Library of Congress made for a good match. After settling on a topic area, I thought about the technology component of the assignment and the need to use multimedia software. I had heard some good things about the Adobe Spark software and had seen some good examples of its use. Wanting to learn more and how to use the software, I decided that I would make Adobe Spark part of the lesson plan. I just needed to make sure that the software would be a good match for the overall objectives of the assignment. Looking at the ISTE standards, it was easy for me to assess that the Adobe Spark software would certainly help to address the idea of technology enabling the student to be a knowledge constructor and a creative communicator, as defined by the ISTE student standards. Now equipped with an idea, I set off on developing my lesson plan. Here is my lesson plan, which is two pages in length. I felt the lesson plan should be developed not only for myself, but also as a resource for other teachers who might be interested in using a lesson developed by someone else. With that in mind, I wrote the lesson plan making sure I included things that others should be sure to consider, even if I thought it was obvious. I was careful to include an overview of the lesson, the learning objectives, estimated timing of tasks, a target audience, standards addressed, technology considered, prerequisite skills required, and a general outline of how the lesson should be delivered. 
I also wanted to address how the lesson would be assessed. After several hours of contemplating the lesson, examining the Library of Congress website, and writing and editing a draft plan, I developed and wrote a lesson I felt was achievable, challenging, and had the potential to ignite creativity in the students. The final product depicts a lesson which can be delivered to and completed by the students over the course of six to seven 45-minute class periods. I call the first class period to be one of an introduction of the assignment to the students. With this first class, I would plan to define the scope of the assignment, identify the learning objectives, and set the criteria for a successful completion of the assignment. These steps would include letting students know they will be working in teams, they will be able to choose the time period studied, as well as the images to examine, and they will need to present and defend their ideas. The students will also be told they will be limited to using only primary sources from the Library of Congress website and will need to use the Adobe Spark software to present their work. I will assure them that I will provide some help and direction in how to use the Library of Congress website and the Adobe Spark software. I will start this process by showing them the associated websites. To conclude the first class period, we will take some time to invite the students to consider their own life experiences and how their lives may compare to some Americans who lived before them based on the sampling of the images shown during the website introduction. The second class period I call background. This class period will focus on understanding primary resources and how they might go about analyzing them. As part of this process, I will show the students some examples, provide them with analysis worksheets, and give them an opportunity to practice analysis in their teams using the sample images I have chosen. After given class time to practice, I will ask the teams to share their initial experience with analysis. This will be an opportunity for the entire class to see how everyone approached the task. I will finish the class period by providing some of my own feedback along with more questions for them to address and be sure to give them the remaining class time to start the process of collecting images for their own projects. The third class period will be dedicated to introducing the students to the Adobe Spark software. I will take a short time to demonstrate the essential functions of the software and then give students at least a third of the class period to work with three sample images I provide them to practice with as a team. After the practice session, I will allocate the remaining third of the class to let the students work on their own projects while I am available for help. The fourth and fifth class periods will be dedicated to allowing the students to work on their projects. I will be able to provide help, guidance, and feedback to the teams. I will also take the opportunity to make sure none of the teams are off track with the project. The sixth and possibly seventh class periods will be used for student presentations of their final products. During this period, I will assess the work as a teacher through questioning and feedback to the teams, and also invite the rest of the class to provide some peer feedback and questions. I will conclude the project with a review of the experience and learning objectives for the project, provide general overall feedback, and challenge the students to consider what they will do with their newfound knowledge and skills. I will remind them of their role in today's society and how their lives and experiences will contribute to the narrative of the nation, just as they experienced with this project. I chose the Adobe Spark software as my multimedia software for this project for a number of reasons. First and foremost, the software appeared to meet the requirements for the project, which was to use a solution which meets one of the McCrell categories of instructional technologies. Technologies that allow people to combine audio, video, music, pictures, drawings, 
or any combination of media into a final product are considered a multimedia creation or learner as producer category of technology. The software also fit with McCrell's instructional media or learner as consumer category, which is defined as technologies that provide or facilitate the creation of videos or recordings that are intended for use in learning. The software seemed to be a good fit for today's learning environment, where students use not only the desktop computer, but mobile devices such as tablets and phones to advance their learning. The examples of the Spark software I saw seemed to fit well no matter what device one was using to work with the content. Finally, I had near zero experience with the software, so this project presented an opportunity for me to learn something new and then to share that experience with my students. The Adobe Spark software allows you to instantly combine photos and text into professional looking graphics. You can use the software to create web pages, videos, collages, and posters. The possibilities appear endless. The software is web-based and free to use. These aspects make it accessible to anyone with a computer and a web browser. It's easy to get started with the Spark software. Just create an account and get started. With one simple click, you can create new content such as a social post, a web page, or a video. Spark provides some themes and templates you can use for your projects. You can easily add photos, text, and videos to your projects, and Spark provides buttons, photo grids, and glide shows which make it easy to add external references such as other web pages. Spark has built-in animation aspects you can tweak. These tools make it easy for you to create a product that is engaging and unique. It's easy to preview, save, and share your Spark work with others. The Adobe Spark software is a free, accessible, easy to use, and creative software product which can help teachers meet ISTE standards while preparing K-12 learners to be empowered learners.